I love the idea that there's a difference between wanting something and being something. And, you know, you could want, wanting something is a form of being. So if, if I am in the form of wanting, then when, how do I bridge that gap between what it is that I want and what it is that I'm doing? How, what a bit, like, let's just pause with that question really quick. Cause it's such a big question. How do you bridge that gap? I think that's life. Mm-hmm. You know, that is our life and that's, it's our life purpose in a lot of ways as human beings is identifying something that we want, you know, moving towards being a better person. How do I bridge that gap? Yeah, I think you were hinting on it. We had a small conversation before we turned on the recorder. Um, but talking about almost like faking it until you make it, what is, and I guess that almost to me makes me think of visualization. Your brain doesn't know the difference between you actually doing something or you thinking about doing something. So if you're, um, I think they did a study. Let's just keep quoting things that we don't exactly know. But well, we, you know, I but, mean, yeah, but tons of people. There was a study, studies. yeah, with the gymnastics and or throwing a basketball where you just visualize making that free throw you know, a hundred times and somebody who actually practices doing that free throw a hundred times and the person that visualizes it, they make it every single time. And the person that's practicing makes maybe 25 to 50% of the time, maybe more. Um, but that idea that you are just re you're ingraining that like perfection into your life by, by visualization, um, through visualization and um, I guess kind of like, I don't know if you want to pick it up from there. <laughs> well, yeah, it's such a, it's such a cool topic and it, and it really is. I mean, it's scientifically proven because um, you know, when you go there in the mind, you, you go there in the, in the body. And so your there's literally muscles in your body that trigger when you visualize something, the same muscles that would be triggered if you were actually shooting that free, free throw. Right. So the point is, is that when you visualize something, you're actually, you actually are practicing it and it's actually, um, can be more beneficial when it comes to, um, executing whatever task that is than it is to actually just practicing the task itself. So, um, yeah, maybe that relates to what we were saying about just, what are your goals for the new year? And can you see yourself as that person that you want to be prior to maybe becoming that? Um, Can you sit and can you, can you, can you feel what it would be like to um, lose those 20 pounds? How would you walk? How would you talk? How would you move? How would your self-confidence grow? Like, what would you, how would you maybe, um, you know, if you're single, like go, maybe go say hi to, another person at the bar than you normally would or whatever it might be. It's like, what are you, how would your life change if you already had reached that goal and sort of enter t- just kind of using your imagination. I mean, imagination is such a important part, I think of um, amazing aspect of just being a human being and something that we've kind of lost in this age of technology and, kind of come far away from the fact that we can use our imagination and use it to our advantage when it comes to goal setting and moving in the direction we want and becoming a better person. Because whatever you can imagine is possible. You know, we, we've flown to the moon, you know, we've done these incredible feats and it all started with just an idea. Brought to you by Saulgood.org.